I'm gonna show you how to find a profitable high demand product to sell in five minutes. This is the easiest way to find a product to sell on Amazon. So let's get started. Welcome back to my channel guys. So I'm gonna show you literally the simplest way to find a product to sell on Amazon. And before I get into the actual process, I just wanna go through a few criteria that I like to keep in mind when finding a profitable high demand product to sell. So first of all, I'm trying to look for products that are new on Amazon, products that have just launched in the market not just new on amazon they're also new on alibaba they're generally new products in china as a whole and it's great because most of these sellers are on amazon are probably going to be chinese sellers the products are not going to be branded and there might be some complaints from customers so there's lots of room for improvement now i like to make sure the product is anywhere from 15 dollars to 100 dollars because anything under 15 dollars it might just not be worth your time i'm not saying or completely ruling out anything under $15 but still the profit margins are a lot better starting there and anything over $100 will be too expensive for you to start off as your first product on Amazon. If you're already an experienced seller and you already know how to get your listing ranking and everything like that then that's fine because you're more comfortable investing but before that then I recommend staying anywhere from $15 to $100. So the tool that I'm going to be going through today is helium 10 so helium 10 is a software that basically has a lot of different tools for amazon sellers what we're gonna use today is black box so i'm gonna share my screen with you basically what i did is i went on tools over here and went on black box this is the amazon product research tool now this is the tool itself you can see it looks a little bit complicated uh, there's a lot of different filtrations that you can put over here for yourself now we're not going to go through all of these different filters because uh, it's a bit too much and we want to find a product in five minutes so we're going to click on simple and here you go now it's going to say i want to sell a product in the and we're going to choose amazon.com amazon.com is the biggest marketplace uh, after that it's amazon uk but i recommend no matter where you live to sell on amazon.com and then you're going to choose your category so before you start this decide on a niche what are you passionate about you're going to be talking about this product a lot you should be using it yourself you're going to be filming content about it so make sure it's something that you actually like now i find the baby products niche very interesting so i'm going to check that off that needs some improvement so we want space for improvement with the product where competition is medium and i want to sell my product for 30 to 100 dollars with a monthly revenue of 10,000 plus and we're gonna search so it's very easy very simple and it's gonna basically put all of those filters into account and pull up results for us all right so now you can see here it's pulled up different uh product there are so many options here number one is a baby monitor now this is an electronic so i would maybe gear away from that because electronics are really complicated especially if it's your first product and you're sourcing it from china you might face a lot of technical issues so we don't really want that uh, but just to let you know that this product is making thirty-three thousand dollars a month and they have only 286 reviews so that is a pretty good revenue for that low amount of reviews and keep in mind that all of these results will be the same so next one is a portable bottle warmer this is an electronic but it's a great product because it's not so complicated it's pretty easy it's just a portable bottle warmer very straightforward there isn't a lot of options that can be messed with or that can go wrong and there's room for improvement over here because it only has 3.2 stars and the listing is only three months old so this is a new product it's already making 15,000 a month so this would be something I would consider selling for $42 now there's also baby proofing 0.6 inch edge protector strip clear so this is to baby proof tables or sharp edges this is a great idea as well it's making $10,000 a month the listing has 3.8 stars so there's a lot of room for improvement and it has around 400 reviews now another option here is bed rail for toddlers so i'm not sure how big this 
package would be it looks like a pretty big product but you might be able to package it into something relatively small this is just on the edge here it's 99.9 dollars .9, so we're just on the edge of the hundred dollar mark but they're making 16,000 a month and they only have 3.7 stars and 300 reviews so this could be a good option as well but in my opinion what I would go for would be the bottle warmer because I like the size of it I like the price point of it it is an electronic but it only has one option so it's very easy to test out and perfect so we're going to look deeper into that now I'll just go on amazon.com and take that main keyword so the main keyword is usually the first three to four words of that listing so we're gonna put that in portable bottle warmer so once you got in the results you're gonna pull up the helium 10 now extension tool so this is the chrome extension you install that and pull up the x-ray tool and i'm going to sort here the revenue from top to bottom basically from the one that's making the most money and as you can see here the price point is anywhere from $70 to $30 so you really have a lot of room to play around with this and there are sellers that have let's see how many reviews there's a seller here that has 250 reviews and they are making 200,000 a month so the demand is there this seller is doing extremely well I'm guessing because they have such a great image image is important and you can literally just take what's working and what is working with the seller and do the same thing this is only 250 reviews making $200,000 that's a great sign let's see if we can find another seller that has a similar amount of reviews anything under 500 and is making over 30,000. I'm disregarding, by the way, any well known brands. So, any like Philips, Mom Cozy, anything that's a well known brand that's not technically like a small business, I'm disregarding that. Uh, so, there is one over here, 370 reviews, and they're making 57,000. There's another one right under it that seems to be a private label brand, making $53,000, and they only have 350 reviews. There's one with 53 reviews, and they're making $31,000. So this tells me that the competition is not that bad. So it's medium competition. You want some type of competition because the concept has to be proven, uh, but you don't want too much or you don't want it to be too saturated. So this tells me the competition is great. The demand is there. People are buying it and the price point is awesome. So we're going to next step is to go on Alibaba and see how much can you actually buy this product for. Okay, so it seems like to purchase a bottle warmer, it's somewhere around $20 per unit so as a first product that is quite expensive it's gonna limit you in terms of how much inventory you can buy but it is worth it because you are able to sell it for $70 like the seller that's doing really well is selling it for $70 so that will give you great profit margins also because it's not an oversized product so your FBA fees are gonna end up being around 30 to 35 percent of your cost so let's do those calculations very quickly just to verify that this is a product that you should look into and you should order samples from and reach out to suppliers from. So this is how I calculate my profit margins to make sure that this is a product we're going to go for. So we want to sell it for $70. Amazon will take 35%, let's say, of that. So Amazon will take $24.5. I can buy it for, let's say, $22, including shipping. So that is 46.5. Now $70 minus 46.5 that leaves me with 23.5 dollars per unit in profits now that is great because that's around 25 percent of your selling price which is exactly what we'd like to go for now just a product like this what i would keep in mind is when you order your sample is you really need to test this out and be completely and brutally honest with yourself and also order the samples of sellers that are doing really well on amazon because you want to see what their packaging is like you want to see what their quality is like and compare their quality to the suppliers quality that you found and you want to see if they have an insert you know what are they doing for marketing competition is good this is why i say you want good competition and not no competition because you want to see what's working for them they've kind of paved the way for you so you don't really have to do much work you're just following in their footsteps and following in their lead and that way you'll find success so yeah guys that is my process and how i would find a product to sell on amazon in five minutes i hope this was helpful and i will see you next week bye